for the number 37 drill hole we will use a drill size chart and in this chart we will identify the number 37 hole as having a diameter of 0 0.1040 in order to create the hole we will use a point and we will create that point on a work plane so we will go to construct and select offset plane when we select offset plane it will allow us to select xy xz or the yz plane since we are creating this hole on the top of this sphere we will use the xz plane so we will select the xz plane and we will make sure that it goes up and the distance we're going to put in is 0.375 and press OK. The reason why we select 0.375 is because the diameter of this sphere is 0.75. So from the center up is going to be half of that, which is going to be 0.375. So that is going to equal the diameter divided by two. So in the model, in order to create our point that's gonna locate the center of the hole, we will select create sketch. And we will select the sketch plane or the work plane that we just created. The work plane will serve as our sketch plane. Then we will go to create and we're going to place a point on that sketch plane. So we select point and we'll just click somewhere about here on the sphere. To define this sketch, we want to use the coincident constraint. So we want to make sure that the point that we just placed on the work plane is aligned with the origin point. So we'll select coincident, click on the point, and then click on the origin. So those two points now share the same X, Y, Z position. After defining the sketch, we will finish the sketch. To create the number 37 hole, we will go to the hold feature where it says um, select we will click on the point for the number 37 hole we will put in the diameter of 0 0.1040 that information comes from the drill size chart We want the extent of this to be all because we want that hole to go all the way through. And we will select 